Hey, what's going on guys? Tim Pin Designs here, and today I'm going to bring you a thumbnail tutorial. Um, I have done one of these in the past, but a lot of you have been asking me for a new tutorial, and I think I've grown as a designer uh, over the past few months since I've done that tutorial. So I'm going to make a new one here. So open up Photoshop, I'm going to go File New, make a new canvas, 1280 by 720 um, the background contents doesn't matter, just click OK. And that'll give you your 1280 by 720 canvas that we're going to work with today. So, first thing we want to do is double click the background layer, click OK to make it editable. Now what we're going to do is double click the layer to open the layer styles module. I'll drag this in the middle so you can see it. And whatever color you want it to be, you want your thumbnail to be, uh, you can change it here. So, if I did that too fast for you. So it's going to start here, go down to gradient overlay and check that. And then where it says gradient and has the white to black, or black to white, click on that and then double click the white. And we'll change this to, say, a green, a nice little bright green there. Click OK, and then click on the black one. Alright, here we go. We'll change this to a little darker green, something like that. Or right there. That'll work. Click OK, click OK. And then change the style to radial. Move this over so you can see it. And click reverse. Then you can change the scale up to 150. And there you go. It gives you a nice green gradient effect. Uh, making it darker to the outside. Now we're going to click this button down here. To create a new layer. And the next thing we're going to do is open. So you can either go file open or control new. Or control O. Sorry. Um, I'm just going to navigate to my graphics pack which you guys can download from one of my previous videos my 250 subscriber graphic pack um, and we're going to go to textures and you can pick whatever texture you want I am going to use this one I like here if I can find it right here now the texture color doesn't really matter oh, you can just click OK this pops up um, the color doesn't matter because what you'll see what we're going to do with it so if you hit control A I'll select the whole thing and hit Control C if you're using Windows, that is, and it'll copy it. Then you hit Control V. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this, go to Image, Adjustments, U and Saturation, or you can hit Control U. Uh, I don't really have all those memorized. And then we're going to change the U by dragging this slider, which is basically just going to change the color of our image. So you'll have to mess with this and try to get it to the same green color you had. So if we move it like that, that looks pretty good. You can have the saturation up if you want. I'm just going to leave it or put it right there at 16. Anything will work. Now what we want to do is go back to layer 0, our background layer. And if you don't have these rulers on the side, what you want to do is hit Control R. It'll bring up the rulers. And go to View. Go down to Show and make sure you have guides turned on. For some reason mine don't show up but they're still on. So just drag out and once it hits in the middle it will snap to the midpoint if I can find it. There it is. And then do the same thing from the top. And this will just give us some little some uh, guidelines that we can use. So if we go to our texture layer, layer 1, um, hit control T which will allow us to resize it and rotate it. Now I'm just hitting control minus to zoom out. Um, if you rotate it like this, we can give it a little sideways effect. So I did, that's at 51.23 degrees. Or if you can come up here and you can change it to say 45 degrees, just like that. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to hit shift and drag the corner out to make it a little larger. So it'll fit in half of the screen. Uh, so we're going to hit move the move tool and hit apply or you can hit control enter so next we're going to drag this over here like this and that'll that'll be good right there so you just want to make sure that you have the whole thing uh, covering up the, the right side or left side whichever you're working with of your image next thing we're going to go to is the marquee elliptical or rectangular marquee tool you can just hit M on your keyboard and we're just going to make a box on this left side let go and hit delete then we can hit Control D to deselect that. Hit Control J to copy the layer, or you can come over here and drag this down to the new layer button, and it'll do the same thing for you. 
Now if we hit control T again, we can drag this little circle in the middle. We can drag it to the middle of our image where we put the guideline. And then right click and hit flip horizontal. And that little circle in the middle basically is where it'll rotate or where it'll reflect your point over. So if it's a little off, you can just use the left and right diagonal keys to change that. But the next thing we're going to do is hit control and click the uh, click the two layers we have over here. So do that real quick. There we go. So then the right click on the one of the layers and hit merge layers together. So then we have this. Next thing we're going to do is go change this from normal to say let's go with I usually just mess with these. Um I think luminosity looks pretty good. So we're just go like that. And then we'll add a new layer. Click our text tool, which might take a little bit a little bit to load because um, I have so many texts or fonts um, on my computer. So I just wait for this to load a little bit. Alright, so now that that's finished loading, I'm just going to click in the middle of our canvas here, around right there. Um, so this will let us type in the middle of our thing, in the middle of our canvas. Um, again, my Photoshop is lagging because my computer is not very good. <laughs> I'm trying to get a new laptop uh, for over the summer so I can record some gameplays and things as well. But So here we go. Um... You can change the font size. I like to start with around 200. Just change that up there to 200 point. And then the font, there's a couple that I like to use. 20 seconds is a good one. Um, also, Helvetica LT95 Black. I like that. And I also like uh, Joystick and Babis, Babis Noue. Um... There's others in here that I like as well. Um, just depends on what kind of thing, what kind of uh, image I'm making. So we'll check check 20 second here. Um, change it to bold. Um, if you're following along with me, you can do the same thing. And then we're just gonna type uh, thumbnail thumbnail, and then we can click move. And then we can move this around. And then click Control J. And then we can just drag this down. If you hold Shift and drag it down, it'll stay like lined up with the one above it. So we can just go like that. And then hit T to get back to our text tool. Click in here. And then change this to say Tutorial. Okay, so click one of them. I'll just click or double click uh, the thumbnail layer and then we can take this and click gradient overlay once again and then I just like to give it a little bit of a gradient so change the black to a real light gray color and it'll go like get, just give it a nice little effect there and then we're also going to add an outer glow and we can change the color to black and the um, blend mode to normal and then we can just mess around with this. I like to move it up a little in size and move the opacity up a little as well. And then just cop, right click on that, copy the layer style and paste it on the tutorial one. And then of course you can move both of these down by control, cl by clicking control and clicking both the layers. And then shift and dragging them down. And the last thing that I like to do, that I like to do is if we come up here to uh, gradient map, sometimes I like to use this orange to purple and just change it to uh, overlay or maybe soft light. I think soft light looks pretty good on this one. So just keep it like that. Um, you can also add a U and saturation layer if we just come over here, click U and saturation. I just want to drag this above the gradient map so it's on top of everything. And you can change the hue and make it whatever color you want. So, say we can make it a nice pink color. 
or we can make it a blue color so you can basically do whatever you color you want with this um so yeah that's about it guys if you enjoyed the video if it helped you out please leave it a like rating and uh tell me in the comments how i can improve all my future tutorials all right thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time peace out